and his primary interest at the in the early stages was uh, I'm sure he repaired tractors and that, but he got into motorcycles. And uh, the neighbor kid down the street, him and the neighbor kid started hopping up motorcycles and playing with the old motorcycles and that. And that's really, I think, where he actually started as far as the automotive portion of it goes. You know what year this was? Uh, that would have been probably uh, 1920, 20. Two twenty-four, along in there sometime. He was born in 1910, so it was probably, uh, I would say he was around 10 to 15 years old when he started messing with that stuff. Um, his friend Orville, uh, they actually uh, rebuilt quite a few motorcycles and they modified them and did all that, and they ended up all living out here in Southern California in the later years, but uh, uh, as far as the, the racing goes, he moved to Columbus, Nebraska, where he met my mom, and he opened a automotive repair in Columbus, and then in 39 they got married. Uh, they moved out here uh, probably in 39, that's about when they moved to California. Did he ever talk about, you know, the depression and what it was like to live there? No, not really, not really. Uh, he didn't talk about that too much. Uh, and he was pretty young, probably during you know, well, actually he'd been 15 or so. But I don't know if it affected them very much, you know, because they did a lot of their own growing and that, you know, so it might not have bothered them too much. I know that he never traveled looking for work, uh, as, as a lot of people did. Uh, and as, as far as I know, his father didn't travel looking for work. They pretty much stayed there in the Nebraska area on the farm. And uh, his father died at a pretty young age. I'm not sure how old he was, but he was, uh, it was almost before I was born. I think I was born in 44, and he died probably in 45 or 6. Uh, what, do you think, what do you imagine the racing scene to be like uh, in the 20s and 30s? I don't know that he was involved in that too much, quite honestly. He never really talked about that. Uh, the first recollection that I have of him really racing was uh, he had a roadster. And he was already living in California, and he went back to Chicago and raced that circuit back there of, uh, uh, I forget what they called it, but Andy Granatelli was the promoter of it. And uh, he took back with him Pat Flaherty. And uh, uh, Flaherty drove the car, and, and they did quite well. Uh, and they ran like three nights a week or four nights a week back there on that circuit. And he did that, uh, I would say, probably two, maybe three years that he went back there and did that. 